Hi, we're turning the ES on a 2000 tick chart with 21 EMA. So, we I drew my overnight highs here and my overnight lows here. Thought it fit the best there. So we started and I started around 8 o'clock, right at right around here. So we started out with this downtrend break. Now when a downtrend gets a break, you can expect prices to make a new low, which it did make here, and we have these two measured legs down. But on the way down, I started off taking this loss right here so I didn't draw this downtrend right here I just looked over it and I also didn't draw this short-term trend line so I took this trade it was kind of impulsive I didn't really I wasn't paying close attention enough so you know I thought that I was gonna take a good fade of the range but it turns out I wasn't so I had this short-term trend line in play but I also had this larger downtrend in play, which both of these sort of kept me out of this trade right here. But anyway, so we bounced off the lows of this channel, break, attempt at a new low, it fails. And then at this point right here, I drew the, I drew these highs and put the lows down here. So here we went into this downtrend I was looking for shorts off of these highs, but there's really nothing. You can't take this. This is just a first entry. Um, it is a third bounce, but it's a terrible signal bar. Just a first entry. And if you draw a short-term trend line, it's still working up right there. So it really nothing to take. Um, we go into, the, we have a break. When a downtrend gets a break, you can expect prices to move low. So downtrend, break, first attempt lower second attempt lower. This is my first winner right here, 18 ticks. First entry short, second entry short, and it's also the second attempt to make a new low for this downtrend in a downward bias with this bigger downtrend in play. So it's off the EMA, it's a good trade. Go, I went for one to one, it looks really good to me. So then we have a new low, we bounce, we start congesting at the EMA, and then we go into this bigger range right here. And then we break out. Most breakouts fail. I wouldn't want to take this fade right here, this failed breakout, because we're in such a large downtrend, so I just wouldn't want to be buying at all. But we fade, we go into this uptrend, break, new high. This uptrend is played out. First entry long, second entry long, failure. I wouldn't want to take it just because it just it kind of looks congestive right here it's not that bad because it is also a breakout pullback but i was really expecting it to get off these highs which we didn't see that so that kind of kept me out of this but we went down into this downtrend break new low second leg to a new low reverse no reversal pattern we just go straight through the ema go back down now we have these two legs up here we are slowly working higher to this uptrend. We keep getting higher highs, higher highs and higher lows. And so then we finally get to the uptrend. We bounce, we get a first entry long, second entry long failure. So this is a failed second entry long, but I didn't treat it like that. Um, I just treated it as a bounce off the key entry point. It doesn't have a perfect signal bar, but the short term uptrend played out. It's off the key entry point and it's making this triple top right here with enough room down to the lows right down here. So 15 ticks. It did have to go a couple ticks for the EMA, but I thought that, that was all right because just because of the bearish bias and the fact that it's off the key entry point. So it didn't really bother me. So we push on lower. We get this first entry long, second entry long failure. It's way too congestive to take. I decided not to take this make a new low, we rush back through the EMA, we don't quite reach the highs before we rush back lower, first entry long, second entry long, failure, no entry, bar is way too big, you know, and it's congestive, so many bars stacked up right next to each other, so there's really no way to get in, make a new low, and then we get a hey, reversal pattern higher, first entry short, second entry short, failure, here, let me draw this. 
uptrend break, first attempt higher, second attempt higher. So first entry short, second entry short, failure. It is technically, there are more entries in there, but on a larger picture, it is a reversal pattern. It just isn't above the EMA. So there's really nothing to take here. We get to the highs of the range, or of the uh, channel, I mean, and no entry to go short, just a terrible bullish bar right here, or a doji because it closes in the middle, and then a huge bearish bar that you can't get in can't get in on. EMA holds, continue higher. We have this uptrend, we overshoot. I think I just deleted it at that point and redrew it as something like this. We get no entries on this way up. Break, first entry long, second entry long, failure. So this downtrend has a break, expecting a new low. You get a reversal pattern, hugging the EMA. I don't, I didn't want to enter at the very low of this move right here, but um, it, it doesn't look that bad. But it's just not a trade that I would take because I usually like there to be a deeper pullback on failures like that. So we go into this downtrend. As a break, new low. We reverse into this trend. Break new high, two legs to a new high. There's really nowhere to enter here. You can't go short here because it's not off of any cantry point or the EMA. And then at this point we're just chopping and going into a range. We break out, pull back. We don't quite reach the range lows or the EMA. Maybe they're there, but we don't reach them. We just go into this downtrend break, expecting a new low, two legs to a new low, and then we get a correction to the EMA, no setup, no good bars, we head lower, lower high, really nothing to take, and then we go into this rally right here, which there is a reversal pattern, first entry short, second entry short, failure, but it's extended, it's right at the high of the move, you don't want to take that. So it's just not a perfect entry. And then it never gets back to the EMA, so there's nothing you'll see that you can take here. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Um, thanks for watching, um, and I'll see you in the next video.